Making my way to the rip rap wall. Making my way to the rip rap wall. Still getting, oh. oh, I had one. That was like the smallest little bite ever. I didn't even, I didn't think he had the hooks in his mouth. Yeah, that was like the teeniest little. Oh, man, he hit it right when it hit the water. For Smalley, for Smalley, guys. Okay, she doesn't feel that bad either. Heck yeah. Woo! That is a dark one. Dark one. There we go, guys. I didn't even see him hit. I literally cast out, and he must have smoked it right when it hit the water. Um, hold on. Let me get this hook out. Cause these little guys are pretty dangerous sometimes. <sighs> Sick guys. Look how dark that guy is. His belly's even dark. He's sitting up on them rocks. Woo! What a gorgeous fish, guys. I haven't came out and caught these. And they're warm too. I haven't came out and caught these guys for a while. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun morning. There's not like huge smallmouth in here, but there's a bunch of like pound and a half, two pounders, and they just fight so freaking hard. I love it. Most times these smallies are sitting pretty tucked up on them rocks. Is that a walleye? It is a walleye. Oh, it's a wallhead. Woo, 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 woo. Oh man, it's a Walter. There we go, guys. Yes, there's walleye in here too. Forgot to mention that. All you longtime followers know that though. I catch walleye here on poppers all the time. That guy is a fatty one. Usually I catch them here and they're skinny. That guy is like thick. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Let me get it out of there. I really try to avoid these guys because they got sharp teeth. There we go. Little wall head. Start the morning. So small mouth and a Walter, but yeah, he is, he's pretty thick. He's pretty healthy. I would definitely eat him if I was like camping or something. That's probably what all these fish are out here, just pouncing around. Oh, I love this. You guys, I absolutely love this. Oh, dang, there we go. Yeah, they, they might be on fire this morning, guys. That was a bad cast. Getting bit dang near every other cast, so that's a good sign. Fish are turning on. Oh man, it just got hit. Turn around to turn the trolling motor. Weapon of choice this morning. Just a little, little top lot of popper, but I chose to go with like a little, uh, it's got like almost like a little trailer on the end. 
and it comes with a extra one just in case that one gets all wrecked you can just pop them on there but just gives a little bit more action than the the regular popper just some danglers to help help liven it up a little bit there he is oh Dang, didn't stay hooked. I don't know what happened there. Somehow he came out. I don't understand that. Got a big old freaking treble hook on this thing. Unless he was just small. I mean, this has got to be by far <laughs> one of the best sunrises I've had out here. This lake's usually, like I said, it's usually windy, so I can see the, like the reflection of the the clouds off the sky and everything right now. It's a, man, can't ask for much better than this right now. Catch a couple more smallies here, but we'll get them. We'll come. I just got to make the right cast. Right up by that log. I just missed, missed the fish. I don't know what they're like. Maybe not able to eat this whole thing very well. I gotta give it a second maybe. Came up and blew up on that one. Woo! Jeez. That kind of actually scared me. Because I was uh, not paying attention. <laughs> I just cast a wop flopper out there to see what would happen. First cast. Didn't have the camera going, obviously. There you go. I got the little Chapo 90 on. Perfect. Look at the little belly on that guy. Yes. Okay. If they're hitting this thing, and they're gonna hit it good, we might have a blast here in a second. Man, I got on a whopper popper bite here one time, and it was like literally every cast. It was one of the funner days of fishing I've ever had. Again, not huge smallies, but man, they get aggressive. There we are. About time. Jeez. Yes! I love fighting these smallies. Come here, buddy. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. That one's not horrible. That one's not horrible. Ooh, he's got a crawdad down his throat. There we go. Look how chunky that thing is. There we go. Another beautiful smallie. Ooh, gosh, learn how to cast, man. I'm not gonna catch anything way out there. I gotta be tucked up against the rocks. There we go. There's another one. It's a little guy up on the rock. Or, excuse me, up on the log. Woo! On the papa. Well, I'm just, I'm mixing it up. I'm going back and forth between like the whopper and the, and the popper, and it seems to be working. Okay, dude, seriously, this is not a good situation. For you and me. Okay. There we go. Another nice little smallie. That one's a lot smaller than other ones. But we'll take them. Woo! Oh my gosh. I killed it. Oh. I killed this thing right next to the boat. And I was going to pick it up and take it our cast. And he hit it. Something came up and smashed it right next to me. And I was like, what the heck? So I dropped it back down and he hit it again.
That was an aggressive attack. He's not gonna let me grab him either. All these guys are turned up and they're turned up on top water, which is my favorite. So another small one. See, I do know how to catch smallies sometimes. For all of you who watched my horse tooth small mouth video. Yeah, that was not very good. I only caught five fish all day. I've already caught like six or seven, 20 minutes I've been out here. Oh my gosh. Whew. Whatever that was, was pretty large. I don't know if he hit it or if it was running away from it. Hi guys, spot number two. Took off from the riprap wall. I'm starting to explore now. Like I said, I've only explored probably 90% or I've only explored probably like 10% of this lake, which is that riprap wall. That's really the only thing I've fished. The other day I came out here and started looking at these coves and stuff and I caught a couple smallmouth so I'm just gonna keep moving around and maybe I can uh, come across some different different parts of uh, the lake that I can find some fish and maybe start coming out and fishing these uh, this lake a little bit more. I want to find some largemouth here. I know they're here. I just haven't seemed to find like a good concentration of them yet. There we go. What is that? Is that a drum? It is a drum. What the? <laughs> All right, species number three. Freshwater drum, guys. I thought it was a little bit bigger of a smallie. I mean, he's not a big drum by any means. Ate my Ned rig. There we go, little drum. These things can get fairly large. This is actually a really small one. This is probably the smallest one I've ever caught. Yeah, these things can get beastly and they can trick you. You can think you have a big old small mouth on. That's pretty sweet. There we go, another fish. I kind of just tucked myself back in this cove back here. What is that? Oh, it's another wall. <laughs> oh, dang it. That's a, that's a better wall, you guys. Oh, there comes out the Ned Rig. Uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a fatty walleye. I mean, not super long or anything, but he's hefty. Another fat one. Look at how big his head is. Wow. That's pretty sick, guys. I'm catching all sorts of species today. Another wall head. I should probably take that home and eat it. No? You're not going to jump out of my hand? Last time I said that, I had a wall in my hand. He just jumped out. <laughs> All right, look at that toothy critter. I just felt him tick like super hard. Just felt a big tick. Set the hook. He was there. <laughs> He's stinking walleye, dude. Good turn. Man, I'm catching a bunch of these guys. They like the Ned Rig. And there's a lot of walleye in here too, but they're healthy walleye. I should co definitely come try to do a catch and cook here with some walleye. I keep talking about that, but I haven't done one yet. He, he hit that when it was swimming. I was actually reeling that back in to make another cast and he hit it.
Well, I was actually <laughs> trolling to my next spot with my Ned rig behind me, just trolling, and this guy hit it. I thought it was another walleye, and I got about close. So I was like, holy cow, it's a, another smallmouth. So I could just probably troll around with a Ned rig, and they'll eat it. Maybe I'll throw a little swim baits on, do some trolling, see what happens. Another little smallie. There's up here munching. I'm wondering if there's some bass up in here too. I'm wondering if maybe this is where the large mouth are. This whole other end of the lake is all like huge grass. Oh, I got a fish on. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Is that a large mouth? <gasps> it's a large mouth! I found the large mouth! <laughs> I found the world's smallest large mouth. Are you kidding me? Maybe they are over here in the grass. Look at that thing. It's definitely a large mouth though. Look at that big old thing. Big old mouth, teeny fish. Maybe they're over here, guys. Better walk away, way. Sometimes you gotta space out. Sometimes you gotta change route. Oh yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> There's fish over here. And it's a large mouth. Yep. Found him. It's actually not even a bad largemouth. Heck yes. Yes! They're over in the grass, guys. Smallmouth are over on the riprap wall, and the largemouth are over here. Heck yes. I love like exploring new water and just finding fish. It is so awesome. Nice. Keep fishing. Let's keep going. I'm gonna leave my camera on. That's a nice like one and a half, two pounder. Nice fish. Nice. Heck yes, guys. There's another nice largemouth on the chatterbait. I rolled up to this creek and started throwing on the creek arms. Or just on the creek edges right here. Smoked another largie, guys. Heck yes. That's another healthy looking fish. Wow, I'm stoked for that. That is so tight, guys. Yes! I'm coming back. Yeah, so that's pretty crazy. There's definitely a heavy concentration of bass, largemouth bass on this side. And over on this side, there's a smallmouth. It's pretty neat to see. Kind of cool to come out and catch both species in one morning on one side of the lake and then move to the other and have largemouth on the other. So that was fun to do. I'm definitely going to be coming out here doing that more often and mixing walleye into the, into the scene. Heck yeah. <laughs> 